morning guys how are you all doing i hope you're all good so today is monday sam's off today because he's been in a weekend and today is the day that we are decorating our christmas tree which i can't believe it has been so long like i've left it so long normally i'm like a get the tree up in november kind of gal but no it is currently the 4th of december and um yeah the tree is still not up well actually i tell a lie we put the tree up last night um sorry in my eye sorry so we put the tree up last night just because it's a big job we have a big tree i think it's like a nine foot tree um because we do have really tall ceilings in this house so we actually decided we'll just put the tree up last night and then when goldie is awake today we'll like decorate it properly because obviously just like slotting the tree together is a little bit boring so we just did that last night so currently our tree is up but it's very very bare um it has the lights on because it's pre-lit it's from balsam hill our tree by the way i'll try and link it down below it was expensive, but I kind of justified it because I was like, realistically, we're going to have this forever. Um, and to buy a new tree like every year is like near £100. So that's how I justified it. Um, I say I hope we're going to have this tree forever. If we moved to a house with like much lower ceilings, then we definitely wouldn't be able to have it. So every future house just has to have really high ceilings, which is fine with me. Oh, Goldie's asleep. But that sounds like she's waking up. Oh no, I think she's just chatting because this is her long nap of the day, so she should be asleep for um, about two and a half hours. So, I feel like I need to update you on my life as well. I'm feeling a little bit tired today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what's come over me. I just I think there's just been a lot going on behind the scenes at the minute, and um, I'm not gonna like go into it all, but there's just been like so much going on, like quite a lot of stuff about my health and stuff. And yeah, I think it started to like really, really hit me recently and yeah like today i just feel absolutely wrecked but i'm just gonna like ride through it because i feel like if i just like keep telling myself that i'm really tired and i just sit down then i'm just gonna feel worse whereas i'd rather like get up and get going and decorate the tree and do that kind of thing um because yeah i don't want to just like sit around feeling sorry for myself <laughs> um but i do have a scan at the hospital later today um at 3 40 just to do with like stuff that happened like during childbirth and stuff like that so yeah one of those things um but yeah i am feeling a little bit tired so i'm sorry if i'm not as like enthusiastic as i normally am so gonna decorate the tree i also really want to do this with goldie today i got it in home sense it's like one of those like clay decorations <laughs> i mean it was only 5.99 so if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna to be too upset about it because I did a practice run on Raffi because <laughs> I bought two of them. <laughs> and I actually think that looks quite cute. It's not fully dry yet. But I mean, problem is his paws were a bit dirty. So like when I did it on the clay, can you see it's like a little bit dirty, but you know, it's cute. It's fine. <laughs> um, I also really need to start wrapping some presents because i have finally bought some it's taken me ages to get going on my christmas shopping as well but i have finally bought some presents um i just need to wrap them all because they're currently just sat in a pile at the minute but i need to go out and get some labels that's why i haven't done it yet um the house is also a mess sorry about that but do you know what i just feel like i just need a day at home without goldie to just blitz the house but realistically i'm just not gonna get that um so i'm just have to do it like in little bits and bobs and then it's really annoying when you're trying to do it in like little sections because you, you sort one bit out like you sort the kitchen out and then in the next nap you'll sort like the lounge out but then by the time you've done the lounge the kitchen's a mess again <laughs> so it's like a never-ending cycle and i i know everyone's gonna be like you're a new mom just like leave it let you know let the mess build up but i'm one of those people's that people's i'm one of those people that if like the environment that I'm in is like messy and like I just feel really stressed and it's something that I really need to work on because I know that when Goldie's older and she's got like hundreds of toys and like you know big things and big plastic I don't know, walkers or whatever it is that I'm gonna like be like oh my god my house <laughs> so I really really need to work on that because at the end of the day it's really not important but it just I just feel like a bit like just a bit anxious and stressed if things are um, messy and like if there's like clutter i hate clutter like it drives me insane like i love everything to like have a place and be put away so yeah anyway i don't know where i was going with that <laughs> i think i was just apologizing for how it's being a mess but yeah that is the current situation i am going to just sam's out walking raffi at the minute um look at this by the way that i got on amazon it's like 
looks really weird <laughs> but it's like a suction to go on your case it's, um so it's like just stuck on my case like that and it means i can stick my phone up on like um any surface really and like vlog or take pictures or whatever it's really really handy and problem is it does get stuck to things like when you put it down so i need to keep putting it down the way oh my god i feel like i've just like brain dumped onto like a million things um what was i saying oh yes hands out walking raffi at the minute so i am going to um just have a really quick run around blitz of the house and then when goldie is up from her nap we'll start decorating the tree so very excited i feel like she's literally gonna have no interest whatsoever but i think she quite likes the lights on the tree because it's like kind of a little bit sensory isn't it like all the twinkly lights i don't know if i'm gonna bother doing like the garlands around the stairs and stuff this year i don't know it's do you know what's weird i feel like i'm really going off on a tangent now but with your baby's first christmas i feel like there's a lot well there's not i'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to make it like really really special and i'm like oh my god it's her first christmas she's never gonna have her first christmas again realistically she's never gonna remember any of this she's so young like she's literally like three and a half months old she isn't gonna like appreciate any of it like she's it's maybe when your kids are maybe if you had your baby in like january or something and then like almost one by the time you get to christmas and i understand like making their first christmas really special but i think at this age like i have to be realistic with myself and be like she literally doesn't know like <laughs> like i don't know i just feel, find myself like getting in my head so much being like oh my god i need to like make it so special we need to go to like a, a christmas light show outside somewhere i need to take her to see santa like all this stuff and i'm like no i don't like i don't need to do that but i don't know i think it's really social media as well like just gets in your head a little bit about like trying to make things all special and i think i'm like really conscious that i want to like start nice traditions but then I think she's like probably too young for any traditions really, but then I'm not buying to now because it's her first Christmas. Anyway, that is the entire content of my mind right now, just given to you. So hope you appreciate that. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna stop talking now and get on and have a little tidy up because she's gonna wake up soon and I'm gonna regret not having done anything. So let's go. Also, in a bid to stay healthy this winter, because I am someone that literally catches every single cold going and obviously it's very hard to look after a baby when you have a cold and i don't want goldie to catch anything um i am upping the vitamin intake i've never really been one that's been very good at vitamins so um i have vitamin c here vitamin d and k2 in these capsules and then i've also been taking this stuff sambuco i think you can just get it in boots i don't know if i'm maybe like Putting too much vitamin C in myself by doing this, but realistically, can you have too much vitamin C? I don't know. But it's vitamin C and zinc and like various other minerals and vitamin B6, folic acid, um, vitamin D, all those good stuff. So yeah, I'm just so so conscious of getting poorly because yeah, like I said, I always catch everything. So I actually heard somewhere. That you're not meant to tip your head back when you take tablets, you're meant to tip your head forward. So maybe I just did that wrong, but there we go. But yeah, I got one of these pill boxes on Amazon because I need to be reminded to take them, so I just leave this out and um I accidentally missed Saturday. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, let's get cracking. Also, I thought I'd show you this that um Sam's mum bought for Goldie. It's so lovely. It's a lift the flap advent calendar full of Christmas poems by the National Trust. And it's literally gorgeous. So you have all these poems all going from one, two, three, four, like all the way along, obviously, until um, Christmas Day. And then each one, I'm probably not going to be able to do this one handed. <laughs> Here we go. So then each one has a little flap that you can open. And it's like a little picture that relates to the poem. And then at the end, you can open the whole book out... And it's like <clears throat> all these gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. And it's like massive. And you can open the entire um, book out like this as well. I just thought that was so, so lovely. And there's something really nice. Like, I'd love when she's older to do... Oh, how nice is that? Like a big old... Oh. Um, I'd love when she's older to do 
like a little homemade advent calendar but for now where she's obviously not old enough for it i think this is really nice to read to her each night before bed so i'll try and link it down below i'm not sure exactly where she got it but like i said it's by the national trust but i'm sure i can find it somewhere so this is all of our decor here we definitely have more i'm sure we have more because i asked sam to go get it all out of the loft and this is all he's come back with but i'm pretty sure we have more than this so yeah, not really sure what's happened there. This is also not a Christmas decoration. This is a toy for Goldie's pram because Goldie has recently um, started hating the pram. So <laughs> that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna pop this washing away quickly now. Ooh. These are the um, Chelsea Pierce pajamas that I showed you in my last video, I think it was. I've literally been living in them. I'm obsessed. They are just the nicest, and I do have some Christmas ones actually um, matching for the fan, so I will show you them as well maybe later on. But yeah, so so soft, love them. sheets out i've been doing like a bit of a big old clean and like washing like all of our blankets and things like that just because I kind of feel like i forget to do things like this so that's what i've been up to Sam and Raph have just got home. <laughs> Look at that wet boy. <laughs> I think Sam's about to give him a little wash. One of my favourite things about Monday is Monday is the day we got our HelloFresh box delivered, which just really sets me up so nicely for the week. Okay, so I also have a HelloFresh discount code for you guys at the minute. God, it's so dark. Like it's literally like pitch black outside and it's only like midday um yeah i have a discount code at the minute it's rh6025 so that'll get you 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next eight i feel like it's a really good time to do it around the festive period because it's such a busy time for everyone as you all know um it's literally the busiest time of the year there's so much going on so much to like think about and i don't know about you but we have a lot of people come to stay and stuff and i just find HelloFresh so handy for that because otherwise i would just spend my life at the supermarket buying food for everybody whereas what i do is i change the number of guests or the number of people on our hello fresh app so it's really flexible so you can basically just go on the app and change the amount of people that you want your box for that week so if i know say like i've got my parents coming up or whatever i'll just change the box number from two to four and it means that i just have meals for everyone and it's just perfect so it's really really flexible in that sense it's also great if you're doing like a festive staycation maybe with your family maybe you're heading off to like an airbnb or something you can actually change the address each week on your HelloFresh box. So if you do want it to go to where you're staying, then it's perfect for that as well. So it's just really, really handy. Um, it's great also as well if you just want to meal prep as well and just get all of the meals cooked at the beginning of the week and then just heat them up through the week if you are potentially really, really busy. I'm sure, you know, people that have like a lot of kids and stuff like that are all off to like various different things around Christmas time. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a lot um but yeah i just find it amazing it's so great as well because sam generally will cook the hello fresh whilst i put goldie to bed and it's just so nice when i'm putting her to bed <laughs> i come downstairs knowing that it's going to be a really really nice meal because sam is actually a really good cook but he's really good at like following a recipe he wouldn't necessarily be like making anything up um but he's so good at following a recipe and so i always know that when he's doing hello fresh i'm just gonna have really nice meal so this week we have thai green style prawn curry which is a big fave of mine i love um this recipe the barbecue glazed chicken and the creamy truffle and mushroom rigatoni i actually chose this one because it's a 20 minute one they do really good quick meals 
especially when like everybody's tired and you've had a busy day and you just want to get something quick these quick meals are amazing but then like i said if you are having like people round and stuff they also do premium meals which would be great for maybe like a dinner party or something if you're kind of hosting around the festive period so their premium meals are fab because they are literally like restaurant i mean all of the food is like restaurant quality but the premium meals have got like a little bit of extra to them like they're normally like a really gorgeous steak or um really lovely like lamb or a lovely sea bass something like that um so sometimes when i fancy a little treat we'll do a premium meal but great for hosting as well so as i said my discount code is rh6025 i'm gonna pop a qr code on the screen here just make it so much easier for you guys who are watching on the tv you can just scan it on your phone and then it'll come up for you another thing that i really love about hellofresh and i don't know if many people know about this but they also do um like for example let me show you so it's really really simple like you scroll through all like look how many recipes there are there are so many recipes and what i love is that they have like all these like other extras you can add on so at the minute they're obviously doing hang on let me focus that they're obviously doing like a festive edition so you could have like cheeses um you can add like a potato and parsnip dauphinoir halloumi and blankets like it's just really oh honey bacon sprouts i am obsessed with brussels sprouts like obsessed and there's also like you can do breakfast dishes and stuff so there's loads of good add-ons you can do and especially like i said if you are having a lot of people around like for example having a really nice breakfast would be so so nice um so yeah very 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 much <clears throat> You can also even do grocery on here so you really do not need to go to the supermarket at all because you can just pop these things in your basket and it is just so handy um, so i will leave the link for um the box in the description box down below also maybe a nice like different christmas present like i know it's not like your usual traditional thing to think of to get someone for christmas but maybe for like your parents or something like that um who always say we don't want anything this year or whatever might be a really nice idea just like take the stress away from them for a month or something like that i don't know just an option but yeah i'm gonna pop all these bits in the fridge now and i'm sure sam will do one of these tonight i wonder which one we'll have tonight i cannot stop singing christmas songs <laughs> constantly I've bought Sam a Stanley Cup for Christmas. He won't watch this video, don't worry. Um, yeah, I've bought him a Stanley Cup for Christmas because he keeps trying to steal mine, so I bought him his own. So I ordered this coat from a brand called Seraphine. And they are, they're a maternity brand really, I think. And yeah, they do a lot of like maternity clothing. But basically, I wear Goldie a lot in the sling um, and take her out for walks and stuff like with Raffi, just because it's so much easier to have her in the sling than have a pram and a dog on the lead. Um, so yeah, I'll pop her in the sling a lot, but I find it really hard to wear a coat because obviously the coat won't fasten around her and then I worry that she's not warm enough and stuff. Anyway, and then I came across this brand and I saw, well, firstly, I looked up one on H&M, but it sold out. And then I came across this brand and they were doing like a 30% off for Black Friday. So it was still quite expensive. It was still like a hundred pounds. But I figured I'll wear it a lot. And also basically what it has, it has like a zip panel in the middle. And then once you uh, don't want to wear her anymore. Wait, where's the zip panel? Is it inside? Okay, it's inside. Um, yeah, once you don't need need it anymore, you can just um, take out the zip panel and then wear it as a normal coat. So I thought that was pretty pretty good. So I'll show you what I mean. So can you see? It's probably quite difficult to see. But this like little extra panel zips off. But then hang on, let me let me put it on for you. Um, I'm just thinking, how do I actually get this on? I think I'm going to have to step into it because it's attached with a label and I obviously don't want to take the label off until 
I know if I'm keeping it, so let's just step into it for a second. Oh, it's very cozy. Okay, right. So, this is my coat that oh, I ordered. Cool. I don't know it might be a bit big though. No, you'd rather it bigger. Right, so you can kind of see, I'm trying to show them. You can kind of see the zip panel here. And then Goldie will just sit <laughs> inside like a little koala. Is there a pouch? Or you have to... What do you mean? But oh, obviously I'll put her on and then I'll put the coat on. on. And then... Oh, it's too big I think. It's quite wide isn't it? I should have got the size down. I got a 10, I got a 12. No, but you imagine with her in it. I know but still I think it's still going to be a bit big. I think I need to try it with her in it. But you get, yeah, it's too big. But you get the gist, and then you can unzip this and like have a little head poking out, especially if they're facing forward. I like it, but I think it's too big. I like it, it looks like a nice coat as well. Um, and now they don't have a Black Friday offer on. But so that's say you return it, can you not? I don't know, I'll see. But yeah, and then you can just put it on like a normal coat, and then obviously you can just take this off and wear it as a normal coat. So, yeah, just thought. That might be interesting for anyone else. Do you want to come sell us the vlog? You've not been in the vlog in ages. Actually, I've not Look at you all fresh. I'm oh, shattered. My head's always chopped <laughs> off, isn't it? Bend down. That's my head. What have you been doing? Decided we are going to have one of the Hello Freshes for lunch whilst Goldie naps. Going oh, for the quick it. one. The truffle and mushroom rigatoni. I also got some wedding pictures up. I actually framed these ages ago from the white company and then just never got around to putting them anywhere. Um, so yeah, I popped these up here and then I also got this print that Liv got me. Um, it's from She Paints on Instagram. She has really, really cool stuff. It's a really nice gift idea as well, actually. Um, but yeah, it says Ruby and Sam like to dance together and that's us doing our first dance. So I thought that was cute. So I thought while Sam cooks us some lunch, um, I would show you what I've got Goldie for Christmas. Um, haven't really bought much because I know she's going to get gifts from um, like family and stuff and also obviously she doesn't need much, she's a baby, but I have got a stocking for her and I would like to, actually should I show you the stockings, hang on. These are so cute. Now, where are they from? I think they're from, oh yeah, by Alex, I'll link it down below. But look, these are the stockings, how cute, so we've got a daddy one, a mummy one, a goldy one, so cute, and we also have a raffy one. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Um, everyone told me, I put these on Instagram, and everyone told me that I need to buy a spare in case we have another child and then we can't get matching because that would be really sad. So I think I am going to do that. But yeah, so I've got her a stocking, so I just want to fill the stocking up basically, and then I won't do any other presents like round the tree. Sorry, just had a sneezing fit there. But yeah, so. First up, I got these, and these are bath toys. I've just seen this, they're suitable for 12 months plus, but realistically, I'm always with her when she's in the bath anyway, so surely it'll be fine. Like, she's too young to even, like, touch them anyway. Uh, but they have really good reviews. So they're bath time twinklers, and I think they just, like, like the water reflects off the, um, like, little plastic bits there. And, yeah, I bought this, um ocean drum again it says 12 months plus i didn't actually even really think about looking at them at the ages but she already has like the other drums um the other band set from the same brand where it has like the little tambourine and it has like a little maraca and stuff and that says 12 months plus too and like it's absolutely fine like i'm always with her supervising her anyway so anyway um but yeah i just thought it would even be nice just for me to like shake around so i got that i got this book which says, where's baby bunny? And it's just like one of those flappy books that the flaps are all soft. So I thought she would like that. Um, I think there's loads of different, like this type style of book, this where's book. There's like loads of different animals and stuff. So I got that and then, oh yeah, I picked up some rubber ducks <laughs> again for the bath. Just because she hasn't got any bath toys. Is that focusing? I feel like it's not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, so I picked up some rubber ducks. By the way, I feel like...
I also got one of these rainmakers. I just feel like she's really enjoyed like the little tambourine that we have and stuff. And I just thought this would be nice as well. It's quite relaxing, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that again is from, sorry. <laughs> that again is from that Halli, Hall, Hallilit range. So I'll link these down below. And then lastly, I got one of these spinning domes. I know she isn't gonna be able to like spin it herself yet because it is six months, um, but I can do it for her and she can just watch it. So yeah, and that is everything that I got. I'll probably get like maybe another like small book or something as well. But I think, to be honest, that's, this probably isn't gonna fit in the uh, stocking, but everything else will fit. So yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna get her this Christmas, I think. Um, I have bought a little Christmas pudding outfit as well, which um, is really cute. So yes, I've got her that as well, which is from Sainsbury's, but it hasn't arrived yet. If it comes, I will show you it. Whilst I'm here, I just thought I would also show you some of the little bits that I got for like our uh, nieces um, from the brand Mimi and Lula, because I love this brand so, so much. They just do like really gorgeous little like accessories. <laughs> um, so I've got some star hair clips. Some more star hair clips, some little bow hair clips, some really cute little pom-pom hair clips, and then some little hair ties as well with the bows. I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, when can I start putting like a little bow in Goldie's hair? Because her hair is so long, like it definitely is long enough to put a little bow in it. Like, you know, like just a little one. I don't know, I might do that for Christmas day. <laughs> I haven't actually barely bought any new baubles this year. But I did pick these up in the White Company. They're these little snowflakes. Hang on, let me... So yeah, I thought they'd be nice on the tree. So they were really cute. I think they were about £5, were they? Oh no, £6. So yeah, I got them. And then also, Goldie was sent this gorgeous Christmas Eve box from my first years. It's just beautiful i love it um so we're gonna use that every year but then i also did get they also sent this as well which is my first christmas i don't know why nothing's focusing at the minute but yeah really cute so it's my first christmas and then it has her name on it and then i also picked this up from mamas and papas just because i don't know i just liked i thought it was cute i like the little fairy vibes and it has 2023 on just because that's obviously her date. So I thought they would be like her two decorations. Um, so yeah, that's the new baubles this year. I also might potentially go to the garden center at some point with her um, because I think she'd like, like seeing all the lights and stuff. So I think I might do that and then maybe pick up a bauble there as well. Um, but yeah, also I just realized I haven't told you about my little set that I'm wearing. It's from H&M, I love it, it's so, so comfy. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it that much. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not. I'd better take it off. So I'll try to link it down below. I'm pretty sure they did like a dark brown as well. Yeah, I think they might have. So I'll link it down below if I can. Oh my God, this smells unreal. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. The truffle. Yeah, it's like oh. a truffle in dust. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. Oh, what a treat for Monday lunchtime, hey? Love that. Okay, Brooke. Thank you. You happy with that? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I feel like this is exactly what I needed today. Mm, me too. Big bowl of warming, cheesy, truffly pasta. Everything that comes out of our dishwasher is always wet and it's so annoying. Like our dishwasher is just so crap at drying. <laughs> it's funny, I was literally just thinking the last time that we decorate this tree. I'll try and insert um, the video here. The last time we decorated this tree, I was pregnant and I'd only just found out like, I think I'd found out like a week before and I was so ill, like, oh my God, I was so ill. <laughs> and I was filming an ad um, and oh my God, I just felt absolutely terrible, but I just had to like 
go with it and yeah I actually was ill all over Christmas like so ill like I couldn't eat my Christmas dinner or anything like that but also it was at a time when like nobody could know because I was only about five or six weeks so it was like a really anxious time as well um but when we told my mum I was pregnant we actually did it in front of the Christmas tree last year um so it's so weird that now like that was Goldie in my tummy the whole time and now she's here I don't know it feels very very like it's very strange but yeah I'm gonna wake her up in I'm actually gonna go wake her up now um, and then we can start decorating. I'm gonna get Sam to see the fire as well. Hello, gorgeous girl. You had a lovely sleep. Oh my goodness, they are some lovely smiles. They are some gorgeous smiles. How did you sleep? How did you sleep? Yeah. What did you dream about? Are we gonna go downstairs and have some milk? And then we're gonna decorate the tree. Yeah. You know, last time that we decorated the Christmas tree, you were in my tummy. You were in my tummy. And you were only tiny. You were weeny. You were just a little dot. And now you're such a big girl. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? You your little curl. <laughs> Guys, look at her little curl. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> it's so cute. Right, come on then. Hello daddy, I'm waking up from my nap. Look at all that hair. <laughs> she looks like a Teletubby. Look at the Christmas tree. Wow. Look at all the Christmas trees. just closing yeah <laughs> um yeah she's just gone down to bed i'm having a well-deserved diet coke i love these mini cokes um yeah so 
decorating is like half done we've finished the tree it is looking a bit bare i'm not gonna lie i didn't put all the baubles on this year <laughs> just because oh, this is so scrooge like of me but I just can't bear the thought of taking them all off. <laughs> like, I just don't have that much time these days. And I just think, you know, we're going for a minimalist vibe this year. Okay. Um, I am thinking, sorry, my bronze is looking a bit patchy there. I am thinking about buying some bows. I've seen these bows online because I feel like bows are all the rage at the minute. Like everyone on TikTok's putting bows on their trees. <laughs> so I've seen these bows online. They're from Lisa Angel. Actually, do you know what? This shop has some gorgeous bits. Let me show you some really gorgeous like baubles. Like I was looking at this one. Hang on. Is that gonna focus? I was looking at this one. How nice would that be to put the name in of someone who's like passed away? I always think it's really nice to have like baubles on your tree that like represent people who aren't here with us anymore. Because it's a little robin. And I always think, like for me, Whenever I see a Robin, I always think it's like someone who's not here anymore um, coming down to see us. Um, and especially because my grandpa passed away um, two years ago or a year and a half ago now. And his name was Robin. So whenever I see Robins, like I always think it's him. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really, really nice. And she also does like um, little photo baubles and stuff. But she also does. I'm saying she. I actually know if it's a she. The shop's called Lisa. So I was going with that. But she also does the whole... Um, bow tree decks and I'm like do I need that on the tree I kind of feel like I do but I don't know what color to go for because there's pink or there's red and I'm thinking maybe red because it's a little bit more traditional and I know pink's very like on trend at the minute but I think red would go better in our house thank you we're still definitely missing I wasn't looking for another boom bag there wasn't one did you check both cupboards yeah. Definitely missing some garlands, because the garlands that I put up the stairs, and also the little wreath that I put on that door normally. Anyway, I'll have a look, but, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm thinking about getting some bows. I think that'll just finish it off a little bit, and also just make it a little bit different, because I feel like this tree's getting a bit boring now, like it's the same thing we always do. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching us decorate. Um, I feel like there might be some of you here that have literally been watching me decorate my Christmas tree for about probably five years now. I don't know, maybe longer, maybe six I've been doing it on YouTube. Um, and now I'm decorating it with a baby. So yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice moment. I popped our stockings up on the fireplace as well. Let me show you that. So the stockings are up. I just love Raffi's one, it's so cute. I am gonna do a garland on the fireplace as well. I just need to um, find it all and get it all out. I think I'm gonna do that this evening. But yeah, I've also popped those little houses over there. Honestly, trying to take a family photo earlier. Hang on, let me just put you down. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Hang on, bear with me. Let's pop you on here. There we go. Trying to take a photo of all four of us earlier was actually comical, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Never work with children or dogs, I think they say, don't they? And yeah i agree because very difficult <laughs> very difficult hey chunk hey 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 so we took these on the instax um mini camera and <laughs> well i mean we got like this photo where like goldie's face is half cropped out oh my god the focus on this camera there we go we got that one <laughs> But we also did get like some quite sweet ones. Like this one's really nice. Of me and her. We got one of Sam and her as well. Um, and I mean, Goldie's totally cropped out of that one. <laughs> and we got that one as well. So, you know, not bad, not bad. But you know, it's only the beginning of December. So we've plenty more opportunities to get some more Polaroids, but. I love this Instax, it's so good. Um, I, was, I actually think it would make a really nice gift for, hang on, I come down and sit here. Oh, I think it would make a really nice gift for any new mums or like mums to be, because I think it's actually really, really just precious to take pictures of you and your baby on Polaroids. 
because there's just something really like timeless about it and they look lovely um in frames or like in scrapbooks and things like that so yeah anyway i'm gonna get on with the wreath now i think oldie's just woken up which is really unlike her normally when we put her down she literally sleeps solidly until we wake her up for um the nighttime feed but her cheeks were really red earlier and she's been dribbling loads i'm thinking she might be teething um so sam's just gone up now but i thought i would make a start on the wreath by the way i feel like having two mirrors next to each other looks so weird here but this is my outfit mirror that i take pictures in and there's not really anywhere else to put it so you know that's what we're going with but anyway let's get started on the wreath right and then all i do is basically grab i think i've already spoken through this before in previous christmases but i've just got a load of like faux foliage these are from Neptune, and then the others, I think, are just like a mix of home scents um, and garden scents. And I just kind of feed them through, just to try and make it look a little bit more, a little bit more exciting, you know, a little bit more going on. We are putting the star on the tree. I feel like this is going to be the last year that you do it. Because next year, God, you'll probably be old enough to like hold it and put it on. Sure. Isn't it? Yeah, because she'll be like well, one, one. one and a half. So she'll, she'll probably put it on next year. And I was also just thinking, this is... What is that? <laughs> oh, I think it hangs. Yeah, I was also just thinking this is probably going to be the last year that we can have like breakable decorations <laughs> near the bottom of the tree like glass ones because nice. next year oh well done oh wow that is so That's straight, straight. Yeah. It's really straight oh. no it's great well done good morning guys it is the next day and i'm probably looking a little bit worse for wear because um i didn't get a lot of sleep last night i'm gonna be honest um goldie uh sorry i was just looking at the bottles and thinking wow i've got a lot of bottles to wash up uh goldie is definitely teething bless her little heart because she normally does sleep really really well but yeah she's just not happy you can just tell and she's like chomping down on the teethers so much so she is currently down for her nap but i don't know if it's going to be as long a one as usual or if she's going to need like resettling and stuff because yeah she is definitely teething i'm like oh my god i didn't think it would start so early but she's like really dribbling and she's got um really red cheeks and stuff so yes anyway um so yeah i have just popped like a tiny bit of makeup on my face just to make myself feel a little bit more alive um but yeah as i said she's currently down for a nap and i really want to get on and wrap some presents because i've just got like a pile of them and it just looks really messy and as i was saying yesterday i like things to look like neat and tidy and stuff like that so i'm gonna get on with that and then i'm gonna wash up all of these bottles have we got any, any sterilizer no okay we've got two bottles, two bottles left <laughs> sam obviously made himself a lemon and hot water this morning and he's left it bless him I bet that must have been so annoying when he got in the car. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get on with that, I think, because it's been something that I've been meaning to do for ages. Oh my God, my hands at the minute, because I'm washing my hands so much, hang on. Because I'm washing my hands so much, obviously, with having a baby, they are just so painfully dry. So I'm using this hand serum from Margaret Dabs, which is actually really nice. Um, but yeah, I was also just thinking, I was just hanging up the washing and I was just thinking, oh, how much nicer would it be if it was summer and I could just hang up the washing outside? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do love Christmas for like all of the like festive cheer that it brings, but I'm definitely a summer girl. Like even this morning when I came down with Goldie at like 7am and it was pitch black outside, I just thought, oh God, <laughs> you know, like whereas if it was like light, I don't think it would have felt so painfully like early. I know seven isn't even that early, but when you've had like not a great night's sleep, it's early. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking, oh, it would have been so nice if it was like light outside now and it would have made me feel more alive. I don't know, I'm just not, I'm just such a summer girl. I'm not a winter girl at all. But I feel like I really do need to start like trying to romanticize winter because otherwise 
January and February are months that I always really struggle with, particularly January, but also February too. I just think they're such hard months. They're cold, you haven't got Christmas to look forward to, it's dark, it generally rains the whole time. So yeah, I definitely do struggle um, with those months. So I'm like, I need to start romanticizing like the winter now so I can get through those months. Okay, so just gonna sit on the floor to do this, I think. Right, wrapping paper wise, I have this one, which I picked up from HomeSense. It's like, I don't know, hang on, let me see if that will focus. It's like this really kind of cute, vintagey. it's kind of quite childish to be honest, like kid friendly vibes, but I decided this was, you know, nice for Goldie's first Christmas. <laughs> it's got like nutcrackers on and little like sugar plum fairies and all that cute stuff. I normally go a little bit more like minimal with my wrapping, but I just like that this was kind of a bit like vintagey vibes, you know? And then I've also just picked up some ribbon to match. So I've gone for this like blue ribbon, which I thought would look nice. And then also this green ribbon and then also some pink ribbon as well. So yeah, definitely way more colourful than I would normally go for, but I don't know. I just thought it was really, really sweet when I saw it. And then I picked up these labels in um, on Amazon just to go with, just because they're just plain and simple, you know? And yeah, I think my lunch is actually almost done because I've just popped it in the air for us. So I'm going to go and eat that and then I'll be back. Just finished lunch, did the dishwasher, resettled Goldie because she woke, and now I'm gonna start wrapping. So I think I'm just gonna tilt you guys down and pop you on a little time lapse. I'm not gonna like talk through all the presents and stuff um, because I think this video is very, very long as it is. So yeah, I did buy my goddaughter at this really cute little shopping cart though. It's from the brand Kongus Lodged. I have absolutely butchered that. It's um, a brand from, where's it from? Denmark. And it's such a beautiful kids brand. Honestly, the stuff is just beautiful. And she is obsessed with babies. And she's also obsessed with like putting things in things and like just being really, really busy and kind of thing. And this is like a little shopping cart that you can put a baby in. And I know that she's just gonna like whiz around the house like collecting things with her baby in the shopping cart. So I think she's gonna love that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I said I wasn't gonna talk you through presents, so I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, let's start the wrapping time lapse. six presents this paper is horrendous <laughs> it just keeps ripping constantly even though it's quite thick paper but it just keeps ripping and the tape also doesn't stick to it because it's like kind of textured so not very successful <laughs> to be honest i can't believe how long this is taking me and it literally keeps ripping like i'm having to like tape it up in places which doesn't look great. So I think I'm going to finish this vlog here as well. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I will be back soon with another vlog festive vibes. I really want to go to like some Christmas markets or something, take Goldie with us, um, do something cute like that. So hopefully I'll be back with another vlog very, very soon. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!